Okay, welcome to the video tutorial. This will show you how to edit text within the website and also how to add a blog post. Now, um, let's start so with the login in. So obviously you've got your login details uh, which we sent you. Um, so you'd log into the back end of the website. Once into the dashboard area, as we can see here, the way we work, which is more, which is sort of speed things up a bit for you, is always have two browser tabs open. So you have the front end in one tab, and then you're in the back end in the other tab. Now, the way we've set your website up, we've done it as a one page scroller with a couple of extra pages in the background, which would be the blog and the training events. So the best way to do this is once you've logged in, if you refresh the page that's visible, um, you'll see at the top here, the edit is now because you've been logged in, you can now access this edit area. So when you want to edit anything on this page, it's all in one area, okay, which makes life a bit easier. Um, and the way it works is when you click on edit front page up here, it'll open the, the bit you're now gonna edit into a new tab again. And this is useful. Um, because what you want to be able to do is once you've gone into the back end and edited, you want to be able to go back to the front end very quickly, refresh the page and see what the edits look like, just to, just to make sure that uh, there's nothing untoward. Um, and the reason we've got now three tabs open is because we also need to be into this back area here, which is obviously not the home page. First rule of editing a website is once you've logged in, before you do anything, scroll down here where it says database this will pop out when you hover over it go to backup database click on backup database and then scroll down and just click on backup this is important because if you do something and it invert, in, inadvertently goes wrong and you mess up don't worry about it you go back to once you've done uh, if you've done a mess up you go back to manage backup database you can then select the where you just like we've just done one here, September the 13th, 7:58. We can then click on select that, restore, and it will restore it back to what it was before you touched it, so nothing is lost. Okay, so that's why it's important also do that before you do anything. Once you've done your editing and you're happy with it, you've gone back to the front end and you've checked everything's good, then go back to this and do another backup. Okay, so you've done a backup before you've done the edits, you do the edits, everything's great, do another backup. So if anything wants to go wrong going forward, you haven't lost all the work you've just done. Okay, so that's, that's, that's rule number one. Always do that. So now we're going to have a look at where you can edit stuff. I'm just going to give you an example. The beauty of the video tutorial is that you can keep going back and seeing it as many times as you want. So let's just say you wanted to change some wording in the Meet Angie section. We go to the back end, so we go into the edit front page, and this is the front page. So everything here is what you see on the front end as one scrolling page. Okay, so everything is in one place. So what we do is we go down and we find the region. So we've got this section here, meet Angie, there's a picture, there's, a, there's the, uh, the wording. And if I wanted to change something within this uh, area, and I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a simple thing in a second, just to show you. Um, you then you edit it in here. So everything in here, and there's a, a preview here, so you can see what that you that you've got an, a, an initial check-in area, if you like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight, and it's just like Word document, and bold it. So I'm now going to make that bold, um, and and also this one so I'm going to do two areas this is good for SEO actually because Google picks up stuff that's been bolded and it assumes it's for a good reason so we've now bolded it so once I've done that and it could be whatever I want to change in I could change the whole wording if you wanted to you could actually copy and paste a new a new section of text in just be aware of the sizing and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a second so I'm now going to save this that's now saved I'm now going to go up to where it says update. So I've saved that section. Now I need to save the section within the whole page. I need to save the whole page. Okay, so that's that has been around until it's done. And this will depend on how good your internet connection is, by the way. If you've got a bit of a 
dodgy internet connection to take a bit longer if it's super fast and it'd be quick. So here's the area that we're going to edit. As you can see, nothing's changed yet because I need to refresh. I'm going to refresh the page and it should now show us the edits. There you go. So I'm a member of the Association of Coaching and the International Society of Coaching Psychology. So that's how you edit any section. And that's, that's true of any section within this home page. They're all, they're all in sections. You'll see them pretty clearly. Um, what I meant by in terms of if you wanted to do a copy and paste, if you wanted to completely change the text of all this, then you just need to be aware that it needs to be, you want to keep it in roughly the same size. Because otherwise, if you, if you suddenly were to put in something to replace this and it was like twice as long, it would throw out the balance of the web page. So you'd have the picture where it is now, and then you'd have like text going down here and it'd look a bit, it'd start to look a bit tatty. Um, so we try and keep things balanced, if you, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's how you would edit the wording. If you wanted to change the picture, if you want, and this is applicable to any picture, if you want to change the picture, what you do is you click on the picture in the in the front page edit area, the image comes up, and then you can click on the picture. If you haven't uploaded it to the website yet, if you've got one on your hard drive, you can click on there, you select files, you then find the folder on your computer where the picture is and upload it. Okay. Uh, if you've already uploaded it, like we have here, then I've got that there. I'm trying to remember what size I put it in there. I think it was that size. And then insert, and then save. And I shall go to the front end and just check that I've actually replaced it with the right, with the correct size. This is a trial and error thing. When you first upload a picture, it gives you different options of sizes. Um, let's have a look. Let's refresh. So I'm now refreshing the home page. Uh, and G. Yeah, so it's the same size. So we, we, we selected the right, page, the right image. So that's how you would do. That's how you edit text. That's how you edit images. Um, what else is there? Um, if you wanted to change the headings, then it's just literally you just click on where you see the text. That's the headings. These uh, code areas here, strong, and then forward slash strong, which is open strong, close strong, that just makes that word bold and the other word not bold, if that makes sense. Okay, so that's that. Pictures again the same. This is just, uh, this is a picture. So basically what I've done, I've put the image of the checkout with Amazon and I then created a link. So the link takes us to the Amazon where they can buy your your book. So I just take that link from the Amazon link, put it in there, and then save, save, and then acts as a button which goes through to Amazon. So all that makes sense. Okay, so that is how you edit text and how you edit images in the back end of your website. Okay, so add in a post, add in an article. So from the home page, we go down to books and articles, and that gives us the sort of like a teaser. So we've got all the, all the areas here. Now if I click through to any of these, I can then go to that particular article. So this article, this part there now in the website, as you will see up here, is gone from the home page to now the blog post. Okay, which is which is here. So all the all the uh, all the uh, info is here. If I wanted to edit that blog post, then I click on edit post, and it comes up with access to that particular post. Okay, so when you're in a post. You set it all up, you do your word in, your pictures, you always tick featured, okay, because that's the category I've set it as, and then you'd click update, okay. When you're doing a photograph for the front end of the, the on the home page of the, of the website, okay, so you put it here, featured image. That featured image, once it's in there, will automatically come up onto the home page of, of the website. Okay, so that featured image will be, what you see here okay it pulls that in if it's not in that part of the page if you don't put that in that won't show okay just be blank so just remember that now to, to add uh, a post go to all posts so you're in the back end you go to all posts and what i've added is a plugin 
that allows you to duplicate a page and this means it cuts down the amount of work you've got to do to keep the format the same so if I was going to use if I was going to put a new article I'd hover over the, this one and it, as you can see here it's got duplicate this clear the cache clone or new draft any of those will, will, will work so if I clicked on duplicate it it will create a new one and it's called exactly the same at this moment because we just duplicated it and it'll say draft okay so what you then do is you can now and so it's not it's not published at the moment it's only in draft so then you can go in and all you need to do you've got the format already set up for you okay so what you would go prepared with is okay in there you'd put your new title okay and then in there you would add your new picture and you want to try and get the pictures to be the same sort of format, that sort of landscape uh, um, size. Um, oh, let me get rid of that. And then here is the actual article. So you then copy and paste your article, if it's from Word, for instance, and you literally just highlight all of this. You just select all, right click, paste, and it'd go in. All you need to make sure you then do is the headings because so you want it to look the same. So you choose your heading and what I've done here, you highlight this and it tells you it's a heading three and it'll be bold. Uh, number one is a heading two, so slightly bigger. Uh, and these are the same. So once you've got these written in, you just highlight them, go up to here. If it doesn't say heading two, you drop it down, select the heading two and you're good to go. And it gives you a, a sort of like a an example here so you can see a preview area here so you can see what it is once you've done all that you then click save you then go down remember to put if you whatever whatever image you've put in there I would always put in here so you put your featured image in here and then you would pub you would publish in this case we're not going to publish it obviously I'm just going to leave it there as draft but you then publish it and it would appear with the new title new picture new picture etc new wording okay however there's something else you need now need to do because for that to appear on the home page in this area we need to go back into the home page and just do a little tweak here if you want this to be more than six so for instance we get to nine nine so you have another three in there we can do that we can go into the front page edit the front page we can scroll down to where the Scroll down to where the blog posts are. Uh, books and articles, workshops, blog posts. So basically, I'll click on the blog posts and it gives me this. So I've got featured, because I've chosen the category called featured, I click featured. I've got it as a grid layout. And I've got the blog grid columns as three at the moment, because I've got six. So if you were to add another two, what I would do is do that to uh, four, and then I would change that to the number of posts, eight. You save that, that grid will then change from being three to four at the top, four second row, okay? And then obviously save and update as usual. So I'm gonna change that back because we have only got six. Uh, but whatever you do, and if anything else here, we can talk about this at another, another time, but that's, that'll get you going. So my advice would be, um, you've obviously got quite a few articles. I'd put them in combinations. So basically we've got six because that's two rows of three. I'd then, if I could have put another, some more on, I wouldn't go seven. I'd go eight and then to put two rows of four with a maximum of eight. If I then got to, got to nine, I'd go back to three columns. Um, so you'd have three rows of three. And then the next one will be 10, which will be obviously two rows of five uh, or, or, or five rows of two. But that would be a bit long. OK, so that's how you play around with it. And again, it's trial and error. It's doing it, looking at it, uh, saving it, going back to the home page, refreshing it, looking at it. If it looks too too big, then you go back in and tweak it back. So sometimes it's trial and error. But that's how, that, that is actually how you add a blog and make it appear in that area on the front page. Okay, so that's it. I hope that's helped. Um, anything else you need, just give us a shout. If you've got any questions, the uh, I'm going to send you the link to this will be sent through so you've got access to it all the time. Um, so it's about 15 minutes in total, but it gives you quite a bit of info to keep you going um, in, in the short term, at the short to midterm at least. Okay, thank you very much.
enjoy.